at VMworld 2019. I'm here with Bruce Davey. Bruce, we've heard a lot of announcements this week. What have been some of the common themes that you want to talk about? I mean, for me, the big thing that really jumps out is just the level of innovation. VMware is an incredibly innovative company. You can look at one metric of innovation as the size of our patent portfolio. We have over 2,000 US issued patents. But I think it's more exciting for me to look at the product announcements. So you look at something like Tanzu Mission Control or Project Pacific, and then you look at some of the acquisitions we've announced like Carbon Black and Pivotal, very innovative companies. VMware has a great history of bringing innovative companies in-house. I went through this with Nasira. We brought that innovation in. We blended it with VMware's own innovative networking team, and that's been a tremendous success. So I think we've got so much innovation inside VMware, and we continue to drive that innovation engine. So for me, that's the big thing that jumps out from this week. Thank you. We've heard a lot about cloud-native applications over the last two days. Can you talk to me a little bit about your take on that? I think cloud-native has got to be the story of the week. It was such a big focus for us. We've had incredible announcements. Project Pacific is you know, being talked about as the biggest free architecture of vSphere in a decade, putting Kubernetes natively into vSphere. Tanzu Mission Control giving us this control point across any cloud to manage and control Kubernetes clusters anywhere. And then you look at the effect of the Pivotal acquisition, bringing that into the overall Tanzu portfolio. Pivotal's really well known for their ability to empower developers. And so you look at, we've got that, and all the things that we're doing to help operations teams. So what we're really doing is we're saying we're going to make developers more productive, but we're also going to help them collaborate with IT so that they can work together to drive the business forward. And for me, that collaboration between developers and operations is so powerful. So to me, it's an incredible story of bringing all those things together. That's awesome, Bruce. We've been hearing Pat talk so much about security. Tell me a little bit about your take on security. Yeah, I mean, Pat kind of has been saying that security is broken. It's a very strong statement, but we have gone after this problem of saying we need to fundamentally change the way we go after security. We've spent too long chasing after all the possible bad things that could happen. We've taken this stance that we have a unique position in the infrastructure. We can see what's going on in a workload. We can see what's going on in the network. We can see what's going on in the endpoint. So we have that visibility to say we don't have to chase after unknown bad things. We can enforce known good things. And with the set of control points that we have, we're really well positioned. And then if you add to that the capabilities of Carbon Black, with their stream analytics, their predictive approach to try to see problems coming before they really turn into problems. Combine that with our enforcement points, our ability to extract data, it's an incredibly strong combination. So I think we really are progressing down this path of transforming the security industry. Wonderful. So you have brilliant history with networking. Ah, thanks. No? <laughs> uh, Talk a little bit about networking, innovation, bringing it together about our announcements uh, at VMworld. Yeah, so I mean, you don't have to get me excited about networking. I'm always excited about networking. But what I will say is that I've been on this journey with VMware for seven years since I came in through the Nasira acquisition. We had a really strong vision of where we wanted to take networking, and we are fully delivering that vision today. We've done virtual switching, routing, distributed firewalling, and now we're doing distributed load balancing with RV. We're doing networking for containers, for clouds. We're really going all the way through with the vision we've been articulating. It's fantastic to see it coming to fruition. And then you look at some of the new announcements this week, not only with you know, bringing RV into the fold, but also things like NSX Service Mesh, taking networking up to the application layer, and then something like NSX Intelligence, this ability to apply machine learning to the data that, and the visibility that we have so that instead of it being a really challenging task to come up with micro-segmentation policies, we can actually automate the creation of those policies and really simplify the task for IT to make their networks more secure, more robust, more highly available. So for me, as I say, I'm always excited about networking. I could not be more excited about the announcements we've made this week. Thank you so much, Bruce. Bye. Thank you.